You know what? I hate to have to say this, but me and you have been saying the same thing that this person is saying in this video over the last year. So it doesn't shock me. I'm just tired of hearing about all the bullshit drama in the black community. First of all, this is what I want to say, man. And a lot of people are going to take this wrong and shit. They came because Obama now is the president. Ain't no ghetto pass card no more and da-da-da, blah, blah, blah. Bullshit. This is what I want to say right here, right? And a lot of people are going to take this wrong, but I know you're sharp enough to catch what I'm fucking trying to say. Fuck the black community. Bottom line. And, and I want to explain this to you. If we all know that we've grown up and we've been raising kids in a fucking vicious cycle, fuck that shit. And if people say my language is foul and wrong, but I'm fuck the black community. All our life, we have been taught, you know, do some good things for yourself and get out. Get out. Get out. Nobody ever thought about the black community ever being a place where it could flourish. Everybody wanted to get the fuck out of it. Get, let's get the hell up out of here. Um, I'm producing a video right now, and I'm going to put it out in a couple days because I'm tired of the basic stereotypes. When somebody sees somebody black, it's automatically, okay, you're a black man, you're a fucking deadbeat dad. Or, oh, they see you with a white girl, you don't like sisters. You know what I mean? It's like, it's all kind of bullshit. People can't just let people be people. Fuck the black community. Bunch of fucking crabs trying to get out the same fucking barrel. It's been the same way since my fucking very exist, since I fucking became. It, since I, man, everything I've ever heard negative about black people, I heard from black people first. Then white people showed me. Oh, shit. And it all perpetuates from one place. The fucking reservation, baby. That's where they fucking threw us in the inner cities to fester. The cream rises to the top and get the fuck out. In order to better the neighborhoods, you got to better this education. You got to put some jobs in place. You got to show people other than ignorant shit that they've been looking at for the last 40 fucking years. Plus, I don't give a fuck what color the president is. The same bullshit is the same bullshit. Young people hang out and don't do shit. And the, the few young people who do want to get some ahead of life and, and try to have something are fucking beat up and vandalized and brutalized on their way to school and church and all that shit. Motherfuckers talk bad about them and shit. Try to rob them and jack them and fuck them up and shit. Dumbass shit. Now, I once told this one guy, man, and I, I'll never forget it. It was down and out times. Things was real hard. And I will never forget this. There had been this... this other guy, I'm not going to say his race, but he wasn't black, and this guy was off the fucking hook talking fat shit throughout the neighborhood that day, and um, I remember we ended up somewhere near the same liquor store he was at, and it was like five or six of us, we was just fucking kids and shit, and this dude come out to start talking so much shit, some dude just ran up. Oh, Murph, the whole left hand side of his head just spun him around like a table. Tow him up. And when dude hit the ground, everybody's like, whoa. Brother comes walking down the street. Counting five one dollar bills. Gets gang mobbed. The other guy stretched out in the middle of the street, walking back and forth with a suit on all day, somehow got left in the neighborhood, stretched out on the street, wallet right there, eight G's laid out like that. The logic in what I'm trying to say is this. The pack mentality is toe up. It was bad and tough in those days, but even when that man was stretched out in the middle of the street, defenseless. Nobody wanted to walk up and touch him after the other dude laid him out and kept running. 
wouldn't touch the man, scared to touch him. But some little brother come down the street, murfed him for the five dollars. Where's the logic in that? There's a fear built up and it festers. Not everybody's that savage, not every situation is that bad. I remember people out there selling drug, drugs and shit. I remember I remember the whole thing. I remember the, the Cadillacs, the rims, I remember the Zapco boards, I remember the whole shit, the whole eighties, the whole our turn to burn. Remember the stories my father told me about their turn to burn. Then my uncle Nils was telling me about how how they, how they used to leave the railroad tracks right there in the neighborhood. They leave train cars open, wide open. Train the whole train car open, full of guns. Train cars open full of drugs. Right there. Drop it right off in the hood. Somebody will stumble upon all this shit. Where is the logic in that? You got a whole bunch of people taught to feed on themselves. And it's not just in the black community. These young white kids are doing this shit now too. They feed on themselves. Intimidation and bullshit like that. Fuck the black community. If the people in the black community don't want to rise up and straighten this shit up, fuck them. I'm sorry. I might be headed back to a black community near you right fucking now. I don't care. <coughs> but if you ain't part of the solution, you part of the problem. Don't sit around and bitch about what's going down in the black community. Sisters doing this and brothers doing that. Doesn't matter. That shit is all fucking trivial. Faced, faced with all the problems we got the new world, no jobs people tow up motherfuckers bickering about rather they want to get along and get man fuck getting along with motherfuckers who don't want to come up if you don't want to have a better life for yourself now fuck you and I don't give a fuck what color you are what community, black, white, Asian, Chinese whatever community you from if you bring in the people around you down fuck you Then when they, they fuck up in the streets, no matter what color they are, oh, he ain't never hurt nobody, oh. Motherfuckers be crying and shit, bitching about you. Do right by other people. That's the bottom line. You'll find the person that's right there for you. It's the bottom line. I mean, it's so bleak that everything that we've learned has been visual and people cannot get that connection. All this negativity and all this drama and stress is no more than what we have been fed and what have we have been seeing all our entire lives. All we've ever seen, pain, disparity, and struggle. Oh, we were slaves. Oh, we slave it Slaves was fucked up. And we're still a product of slavery. They switched up the game. And now we're all enslaved. The masters are now the slaves. We're all fucked in the same pot. And it's melting, baby. It's not just the black community. The white community, the Hispanic community, and all these communities are suffering. Because there's no wisdom or knowledge left to teach these young kids anything. Because all they have seen is piped in through TV and old stories. Do you tell the story about how you was nice to somebody? Or do you tell the story about how you barely saved your ass and you was getting mobbed down by six or seven dudes whooping your ass and you came out? You tell the story where you were the victor. And not too many of them stories are the good wholesome family type stories. And that is what we have been teaching the future. We have been teaching the future 300 years of negativity and expect people to change all of a sudden. Hey, you know, it's a black president. No more biting your fucking gums. Do it. You've been tubed. 